Okay, step nine, it's time to confirm that we do have aluminum. We're gonna dissolve this precipitate from procedure step eight with dropwise addition of HCl. Again, dropwise a few drops at a time. It's not a lot of precipitate, so it probably won't take a lot of HCl. I'm gonna put in three or four drops. Give it a good shake. And I can see here that the precipitate is gone. There's a solution remaining, but no precipitate floating around. It's important to do it dropwise, not only because it asks us to, but also if you notice, we're going to add six drops of ammonium chloride. Followed by six drops of aluminon test reagent. And then we're going to add ammonia water until the solution is just basic. So if I had added a lot of HCl to dissolve the precipitate, it would just take me longer to make the solution just basic. And again, just basic or just barely basic means not that the litmus paper turns just barely blue, but that red litmus paper, if I test it and it's still red, it means it's still acidic. A couple more drops, if it's still red, it's still acidic. But if I add a couple more drops and then it turns blue, I know that in those last couple of drops, the solution is turned basic, and that's what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to add ammonia water again. I've got some pieces of red litmus paper ready to go here. So a couple drops of ammonia. Shake it up. Give it a quick little stir to get the stirring rod wet. And test that litmus paper. It's still red, still acidic. Just need a few more drops of ammonia. Stir it up, test it, still acidic, and it's still red. So I'm continuing to add just small amounts of ammonia, a few drops at a time, stirring it and testing it, adding it dropwise until the solution is just basic, until it turns the red litmus paper blue. Still red. Be patient. Yep, still red. Still acidic. All right, there we go. The red litmus paper has finally turned blue, so it's finally basic, and it's just become basic in those last few drops. So what we're looking for here is a light, finely divided, plum-colored precipitate that confirms that we have aluminum. When we say light and finely divided, it means it's going to be little specks, little flecks of precipitate, and they kind of just hang out there. They don't sink to the bottom. They're not very dense. And so this, for us, confirms that we have aluminum. It's not enough just to be plum color. What we're adding, the aluminum test reagent, that is plum color. We're looking for a precipitate, small little chunks in there, little flecks of precipitate that are plum colored and just floating in suspension. So that's it for step nine. We've just confirmed that we have aluminum. We're ready to head on to step 10.